If you were to dollar cost average into the stock market the entire year of 2022 into some well-known tech and dividend stocks, what would your portfolio look like today? In today's video, I am here to share exactly that. The entire year of 2022, I purchased shares on an automatic reoccurring basis using M1 Finance, and I want to share the performance of that portfolio today. As most of you know, the market fell the entire year of 2022, so dollar cost averaging obviously did not yield any returns in the short term. Now, the idea of dollar cost averaging and something that I believe in very highly is to focus on the longer term goals, focus on having time in the market rather than timing the market on some stocks that you believe in in the long term. Now, we all have different investment objectives, different investment advice, and different investment goals, but in today's video, I figured I would share what I believe in dollar cost averaging and and share with you the performance of doing that the entire year of 2022. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. I hope you enjoy the transparency and the openness of the portfolio that I manage here on M1 Finance. If you do after watching, press that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So up on the screen, you guys can see my M1 Finance portfolio. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I just want to share with you guys how I've been managing this portfolio, what it looks like if you've been dollar cost averaging the entire year of 2022, share the stocks that I've been purchasing, how I've been purchasing them, and overall just walk through the portfolio. So you guys can see here, I have about 22 positions, 22 stocks that I have purchased in this portfolio. My cost basis is about 47,000 and the current value is about 37,000. So you can see I am down just about $9,000, $10,000 in this portfolio. This equals just about a 20% loss. So for the year of 2022, purchasing starting in November of 2021, continuing to purchase the entire year, I am down about 20%. You can see in the top right of the screen, there is a borrowed value. And this is me using the M1 Finance Borrow, which is a very low interest rate to go ahead and borrow against your portfolio, either reinvest into the portfolio, or you can even take the money and send it straight to your bank account. In my case, I used the borrow at a low interest rate. I was using it more often back in the beginning of 2022 because I was getting portfolio loans for around 2%. So I could take money out, take $1,000 out at 2% and invest it into stocks. Obviously, now the interest rate is higher as it is variable, and I will share that with you today. So you can see the largest holding in my portfolio in terms of value is actually Netflix. I own Netflix at $307 per share. That is my average cost, and this has been coming down substantially since I started to buy back in November. I've continued to purchase shares of Netflix as it moved lower, and now I have an average cost of around $307 with just around 14 shares. As we move down, we can see NVIDIA, 28 shares at 192. I'd like to get this down a little bit further. I do own some more NVIDIA shares in my SEP IRA account, but I'd like to continue to purchase NVIDIA shares down about 25% on those shares there. Now, the one that I am down the most, which I'm sure a lot of people are down the most on, is Tesla. I have about 35 shares of Tesla at $220. You guys know that that is around $100 a share now, so you can see I'm down about 50% on that. As we continue down the list, we can see A. AMD, we can see Shopify, Apple, Alphabet, and these are all very well-known stocks, right? Well-known tech names, and I've continued to dollar cost average into these stocks the entire year. Apple down 20%, Google down about 30%. Shopify, I actually think I have a very good average on. I've continued to purchase Shopify, and I actually started a little bit late purchasing Shopify in this portfolio. My average cost on shop is $34 with about 100 shares. I am happy about that one, and I am actually green on that year to date. If we continue to scroll down, we can see stocks like AbbVie up 16%, a dividend stock which has performed very well. Microsoft down 18%, Home Depot down 8%, Caterpillar pillar, Lululemon, and then you get into Rumble, which is a little bit of a long shot for me, but I am happy to be invested in that. I have about 100 shares, about $700 worth. And if you continue lower, you can start to see some of the dividend stocks that start to slip in. So if I go ahead and filter this by top gains to top losses, you can see looking at the stocks that I have gains on, you can see these are mostly dividend stocks. And this is very resemblant of what happened in 2022. I'm green on Exxon. I'm green on Chevron, Boeing, AbbVie, Caterpillar, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola. These are all stocks that did outperform in 2022, and I am green on them in the portfolio. 
Now, of course, unfortunately, I do have the least amount of money invested in dividend stocks. This was never meant to be a dividend portfolio, a little bit more of an aggressive stock picking portfolio for the longer term. So obviously, I am green on those dividend stocks, but I do not have as much money or as much weight in these stocks. So I want to go ahead and jump over to the activity and I want to share with you guys how this works. So I'm going to go to activity type and I'm going to go to deposits and withdrawals. And you can see that every single week of 2022, I had an automatic deposit of around $500, sometimes $1,000. So roughly $2,000 a month to maybe $4,000 a month is on average what I would invest into the stock market. Again, for some people, this is a lot. For some people, this is very little, right? It depends on how much money you make and the investments that you can afford to make. For me, this is a comfortable amount that I can continue to invest over my lifetime or so I hope. We'll see what happens. But right now, I am comfortable to invest this amount into the foreseeable future and I will continue to do so as long as things continue the way they are. $500 a week investing it into the market every single week M1 taking that money and dollar cost averaging into stocks if I scroll down you can see all of August all of September all of August July June May April the entire year March February January December and this was the first time I purchased which was on November 3rd of 2021 so if I go back to the top and I include the trading filter you can see here is where M1 makes its purchases so today it had five six buys it bought Nvidia Rumble AbV Apple Home Depot and Microsoft I can go back to the 27th I bought Rumble Nvidia Tesla Netflix and Apple and you can see how this starts to work you can see how it's automatic every single time you invest money into the M1 portfolio it goes ahead and it invests into the stocks that either have a lower weighting that needs to increase or it sells off stocks that have a higher weighting and it needs to sort of equal out the weighting in the portfolio. So the last thing I want to share with you here in today's video is the value over time, the equity curve of this portfolio. Now you can see that I did lose money in 2022, dollar cost averaging into the stock market. But what I like to see more than anything is that value curve over time on the right side of your screen. You can see from the beginning of me investing to where we are today, it has been on a very consistent uptrend, a very consistent move from the bottom left to the top right. And this gives me confidence that when the market does return, when the market finds some type of momentum, whether it's next year, whether it's five years from now, whether it's 10 years from now, I know that I am continuing to invest. My money is taking small losses as of now, but I would only assume that when the market does return back to some type of normalcy, that that equity curve will very quickly increase to the top right, knowing that I am compiling these shares at these lower prices. Once the market does have some type of an upside move, that value over time will quickly and drastically shoot to the upside. That is my hope in the long term. That is the entire hope and the entire objective of dollar cost averaging and having time in the market rather than timing the market. So now I want to go ahead and share the borrow function. What I've done against this portfolio, borrowing against a portfolio, you can see that I've borrowed about $13,000 against a portfolio. As of right now, the base rate is 6.25%. Back in the beginning of 2022, this was down at 2%. And this is where I took the majority of my borrows back in the early parts of 2022. I have taken a few borrows out lately, using that to invest more into the market as it continues to decline. But right now you can see I'm borrowing just about out $13,000. I will not get a margin call unless the value of the portfolio drops about 50% from this point today. I don't believe that that is something I have to worry about. And if that by some means happens, I have the cash to cover it, right? I am not investing into this portfolio irrationally with money that I can't afford to lose, with margin I can't afford to cover. I think that is the most important thing to not do when you're investing into the long term. I barely pay attention to this portfolio. I let it do its thing. I have it on automatic investments. I let it continue to purchase into the market. If there's some little changes I want to make, like maybe overweighting in a certain stock or underweighting in another stock, I'll do those changes, but very rarely do I change the investments that I do make. So guys, I just wanted to go ahead and share this video today, share with you the portfolio and the performance of it so far, share with you what it's been looking like dollar cost averaging the entire year of 2022. Obviously not a great year for it. Obviously red on the portfolio, but I have little to no concerns here. The goal is the long-term investment. The goal is to automatically invest in the market, 
not have emotions in the short term, use money that I can afford to lose in the short term, and invest for my future. If you enjoyed today's video, if you have any interest in dollar cost averaging into the market, it's probably a better time now than it was in the beginning of 2022. You can check it out down in the description below. That is my M1 portfolio, and you can sign up using my code. This is not a sponsored ad. I do have a referral link down below. Feel free to use it. I think they're running some type of promotion there, so feel free to check that out. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to press that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I promise no more long-term investing videos. We'll be back to option videos back on Thursday. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.